So in this next video, man, we're going to be checking out strange things in unexpected places. This video is titled scientists discover a 3 million year old door and find something incredible inside. Let's check it out. There are many unexpected things in life, and sometimes we find them in the unlikeliest places. From bizarre items in food to cheap items that turned out to be million dollar goods, here are the 20 strangest things found in unexpected places. Number 20. A surprise in a loaf of bread. People wearing glasses know the pain of wearing something just to see clearly. I know I do. If you've worn glasses before, you know how inconvenient it is to have your glasses fogged up while drinking hot coffee, or when you just got out of your air-conditioned car on a particularly humid day. But I guess this one's an inconvenience that I've never encountered. In 2016, someone baked bread with 20-20 vision. How's that possible? Well, a Redditor shared the story of how his friend lost his pair of spectacles and found it in the most unexpected place possible, in a freshly baked loaf of bread. I guess he deserves some points for that perfect bread crust, but he just needs to remove his glasses before the bread becomes edible. Fortunately, his spectacles weren't damaged. We all know- Sound like something my kid would do. He always either breaking, destroying, or losing his glasses. How pricey these things can get. But perhaps, my main question is, how exactly did this baker miss his glasses falling into the loaf of bread? How? Why? When? I surely would have noticed something in the dough before putting it in the oven. Or did someone perhaps play a prank on him? Well, I guess we'll never know. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Free Live Frog a family in North Shore, Wisconsin was in for a pleasant surprise in their salad when they found a live amphibian in the carton. It was an ordinary Tuesday for the Allen family in 2019 when they decided to get a pick-and-save in Glendale for dinner. They let the salad sit in their chiller until nighttime, and when they opened the organic lettuce, they realized that there was something else in it. Startled, Carly, who was holding the carton, let out a loud shriek and threw the salad on the floor. The rest of the I mean, I guess you can't get more organic than that. <laughs> family checked what was going uh. on and saw the frog inside the carton. Can you believe it? A real live frog. The supermarket staff was quite puzzled as they couldn't fathom how a frog had hitched a ride into the store and managed to hide out in the carton without being noticed. But, well, Pick and Save's parent company seems to know the answer. They claimed that as a USDA certified organic product, the farm where they got the fresh lettuce is free from synthetic additives and certain pesticides. They claim that from time to time, small insects and small animals like frogs make it through the packaging of their fresh produce items. But even with this information, the Allen family asserted that they wouldn't buy or eat salad anytime soon. Maybe the image of the frog cozied up in the lettuce flashes in their minds every time they try to eat fresh... You know he peed all over that lettuce, bro. <laughs> Because some people be like, well, at least this is how I know it's fresh and would have still ate it. And you mess around and have warts in your mouth. Greens. I probably would skip salad as well. Number 18. I spy with my little eye. In our time, I guess you really have to remain vigilant at all times, especially if you have kids. In a small town in Tennessee, a mother experienced one of the most frightening days of her life when what should have been a day of laughter turned into a nerve-wracking experience. The family had a family outing to the Wilson County Fair when her child won a teddy bear in one of the booths. But when they inspected the teddy bear, the family realized that there was something hidden in the toy's eye, a camera. The unidentified woman wasted no time and promptly reported the unsettling incident to the Lebanon oh Police God. Department. Authorities swiftly sprang into action, examining the stuffed animal and interviewing the booth operator responsible for doling out the prize. It's natural to think of the worst-case scenario here, but it turned out that the teddy bear wasn't planted by a criminal who wanted to spy on children. Rather, it was something a bit more innocent, a nanny camera. The booth operator shed some light on the peculiar situation, explaining that he procured his stuffed animals in bulk from a discount facility located in Georgia. Police began to piece together a theory, suspecting that this particular toy might have been a returned or damaged item, possibly intended for resale at a discount. There were no other bears with hidden cameras found at the booth. Perhaps the operator bought the nanny camera, 
unaware of its hidden features. Nanny cameras are common among some parents who, for various reasons, can't be with their children throughout the day. These cameras serve as a way to keep a watchful eye on caretakers. While many cameras are overt and known to the child's caretaker, some are concealed within everyday items like teddy bears and photo frames. Number 17. Shipwrecked Lego Pieces On February 13, 1997, a rough wave hit a cargo ship, sending it just 20 miles off the coast of Cornwall in the United Kingdom. Now, it just so happened that this ship was carrying a staggering 4.8 million Lego pieces, and unfortunately, the majority of these pieces were washed away into the ocean. The Great Lego Spill, as it's come to be known, stands as one of the most bizarre and devastating toy-related environmental calamities in history. It all unfolded when a cargo ship named the Tokyo Express was en route from Rotterdam, Netherlands to New York. Even today, beachcombers in Cornwall continue to discover miniature flippers, harpoons, and tiny octopuses washed up in the sand. American oceanographer Curtis Ebesmeyer estimates that these Lego pieces may have journeyed an astonishing 62,000 miles across the world's oceans. Approx how many fish have eaten them, though? Approximately 3.2 million of these wayward Legos are light enough to float, leaving the other 1.6 million to rest on the ocean floor. They're poised to remain there for an extended stay, with a 2020 study revealing that it will take a staggering 1,300 years for these lost Legos to fully break down. Now that's quite disturbing, isn't it? That's over a million Lego pieces that could potentially endanger ocean creatures. Number 16. Yep. A Giant Monopoly Board most of us have probably played Monopoly before, and we've probably had relationships destroyed over it. And while this game that never ends, oh my god, Monopoly brings back horrific memories of just on and on and on. Might be the case, it was still a very fun experience. So you can only imagine this couple's excitement when they discovered a massive Monopoly board under the carpet. The Monopoly board sprawled across the floor includes all the iconic properties of the original US version, complete with the familiar community chest, chance, and jail squares. Of course, the new homeowner shared what he found on the internet, where people shared their own sentiments. Others claimed that there are neighborhoods where houses have full-sized board games in one of their rooms. If you were the one who found this in your new home, would you cover this up, or would you just try to find a workaround to have it incorporated in the room? If I were to discover something like this, I'd probably keep a carpet over it. But if I have guests over, I'll surely make this Monopoly floorboard the centerpiece. Number 15. Cell Phone and Potato Chips Now, here's a pretty old story. It was 2009. We were burning CDs for our friends, and video stores were still a thing. Unlike today, where wearing skinny jeans is a criminal offense, Graphic tees and Converse sneakers paired with skin-tight jeans were the trend back then. Plaid shirt like nobody will remember there once was a time where if you wanted to watch something and it was already out, it wasn't in the theater, you wanted to watch something, go to a movie store and you pray, especially if it was a new one that they just got into the movie store, you pray that if you went in there that it was in stock. In stock. So you had to go and look down that aisle and pray that it, sometimes it'd be like the very last one, man. You just get lucky. And sometimes you show up in there, there wasn't none left. Oh man, those were the days. It's leggings, high tops, and shutter shades were also in back in the day. Well, now that I've properly given you a blast of the past, here's our unexpected find. Emma Schweiger from Janesville Township bought two bags of chips from the local store. And while watching probably a rented show from the video store, she opened the bag of chips, only to be surprised when she found an entire phone inside. What? Of course, she felt a mixture of disgust and amusement at what she found, and she immediately went to the authorities with the greasy potato chip phone in hand. The phone didn't turn on, but it had a chip inside. The authorities already contacted the supplier of the potato chips, who of course claimed that their priority lies in the safety and health of their customers. But then, if this was the case, they wouldn't have missed the phone in the bag of potato chips, don't you think? Number 14. Macaroni, Cheese, and Nails In most cases, pre-packed food is safe. Unhealthy, with all the excess sodium preservatives and food coloring, but it's otherwise safe. Safe in the sense that you don't need to worry about flies, insects, or any other unwanted things in your food. 
But I guess this isn't always the case because in 2008, a bride-to-be made an unexpected visit to the hospital when she found a one-inch metal nail in her TV dinner. She found three one-inch nails in her meal, which was a 79p Tesco value macaroni cheese ready meal. Initially, she accidentally swallowed one metal nail while biting into the macaroni. Later, when she took another bite, she discovered an additional nail inside one of the macaroni pieces. Upon closer inspection, she found a third nail on her plate. Of course, her Sunday night was immediately ruined. She soon felt unwell and sought medical attention at Lincoln County Hospital. An x-ray confirmed that she had ingested a nail, which was in her intestines. Although she was initially discharged, she returned to the hospital the following day due to severe stomach pain. Rebecca had to stay under observation in the hospital's emergency assessment unit until the nail safely passed through her system. The supplier of the macaroni cheese immediately recalled their products to ensure there were no other nails in the TV dinner. That's definitely the right move if they didn't want a lawsuit coming at them. Number 13. Chicken Breast Magnet Here's a pretty recent incident that occurred in 2021. It seems like there really is a trend in pre-packed food, huh? Who's their QA? They really should up the quality assurance in these products, mainly because they're dealing with food. An Australian shopper got more than what she paid for when she found two magnets in her packed chicken breasts. The mysterious massive black magnetic object appeared securely affixed to the chicken filet breast packaging, leaving many to wonder how it escaped notice during the initial purchase. In response to the curious incident, the chicken suppliers said they had not received any similar reports and defended their chicken suppliers, emphasizing their commitment to rigorous food safety standards. I mean, that's what they all say, don't they? It was never revealed just how the magnet ended up in the chicken, but luckily, it didn't end up in someone's stomach. That would have been a huge problem. Number 12. Dinner with free $600. Now enough people are finding dangerous things in their food. Let's check out the story of someone who got lucky with their dinner. Imagine enjoying a pleasant dinner at a restaurant near Seattle, when you suddenly bite down on something hard, only to discover a rare purple pearl in your meal. That's precisely what happened to Lindsay Haas in 2011. Lindsay savored a meal of clams and mussels with her husband when the unexpected happened. As she bit down on the mysterious object, she couldn't quite decipher its identity. It appeared circular and almost perfect, resembling a bee. The puzzlement deepened because Lindsay assumed pearls exclusively came from oysters, not the clams and mussels she enjoyed that evening. When she got home, Lindsay immediately inspected the bead she got, and a quick Google search told her that she might have found a Quahog purple pearl named after Quahog clams. But did you know that this pearl is so rare that you have a higher chance of being struck by lightning? To settle the mystery. Oh, oh so how much did she get? How much? Oh, 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 what y'all think? A million? A couple hundred thousand? What'd she get? She consulted a gemologist who confirmed her discovery. An authentic Quahog purple pearl valued at approximately $800. Ted Irwin of the Northwest Geological Laboratory explained the rarity of the find. I mean, that's $800 more than you had the day before, so you can't be mad at it, but you hear rare, you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning, you think, okay, uh, yeah, I mean, this should retire me. Mentioning that only a couple of million pearls are of gem quality. Now imagine eating a meal and suddenly finding a pearl that's almost worth a thousand dollars. Number 11. Lucky man finds $500,000 worth of treasure in storage unit. You might have heard about people bidding for storage units, and in most cases, you'll see nothing but vintage items. But there are times when you get lucky. In this story, a man named John finds himself on an unexpected adventure after bidding on an abandoned storage unit. Little did he know that his blind investment of $1,100 would soon transform into a half-million-dollar gold and silver bonanza. Inside a blue Rubbermaid container within the Contra Costa County storage unit, John stumbled upon a treasure trove of rare coins, as well as a few gold and silver bars. The total value? An astonishing $500,000. In recent years, storage unit auctions have gained widespread attention thanks to reality TV shows like Storage Wars and Auction Hunters. In California, where American Auctioneers is based, storage units become available for auction if rent goes unpaid for three months. Bidders get a brief glimpse of the unit's contents before the bidding begins, 
making it a gamble with the possibility of a significant payoff. In most cases, what you pay for a storage unit is typically slightly less than the original price. But hey, if you have extra money lying around, this one is probably an excellent way to pass the time. Yeah. Number 10. Cash in the Walls Since we're already on the topic of lucky people, here's another. In 2008, a contractor named Bob Kitts discovered an unexpected find in the walls of the home he was working on. He found a stash of money, a total of $182,000 in the bathroom walls. Oh, y'all about to make me rip my walls up today. <laughs> now, I did say that this was a lucky find, but what followed next wasn't really something lucky, to say the least. The discovery, amounting to a significant sum, proved to be more of a headache than a win for Bob Kitts. He and homeowner Amanda Reese, who had hired him for a remodeling project, couldn't see eye to eye on how to divide the money. Amanda Reese, the owner of the house, faced financial difficulties, testifying in a deposition that she was considering bankruptcy, and one of her properties had recently been foreclosed upon by a bank. The situation was further complicated by the fact that 21 descendants of Patrick Dunn, the wealthy businessman who had originally stashed the money during a time of bank collapses and economic hardship, were entitled to a portion of the discovery. Yep, needless to say, the Depression-era money was aptly named because of the headache it gave its finders. Number 9. Wow. A legitimate copy of Independence. Does anyone here like thrifting? Well, if you do, then you know just how much you can earn if you have the right eye. In a remarkable stroke of luck, a thrift shopper named Michael Sparks has a story that's almost too incredible to believe. He stumbled upon a copy of the Declaration of Independence at Music City Thrift in Nashville, Tennessee. For this document, you immediately know that it's worth a lot of money, but Sparks bought it for only $2.48. The worn and yellow document that Sparks acquired is no ordinary find. It's one of the 200 copies commissioned by President John Quincy Adams in 1820, making it a historical gem. Realizing the significance of his discovery, Sparks decided to auction it off through Rayner's Historical Collectible Auctions in Burlington, North Carolina. The bidding commenced at $125,000, attracting the attention of six eager bidders. Many participated through phone and internet bids, and the identity of the winning bidder remained anonymous. The final selling price was nothing short of astonishing, $47,650, a testament to the document's historical value. Number 8. I'd say. Some grapes and a free spider. Just when you thought you were done with bizarre items and creatures found in food, here's another one. A Metro Detroit family recently experienced a spine-chilling surprise when they found an uninvited oh guest in a bag of grapes purchased from their local grocery store. Andy Russo recorded the unsettling discovery that his wife Karen brought home from the store. Somehow, a spider had made its way into a bag of grapes and embarked on a journey from the store to their house in Milford. The spider in question is believed to be a black widow. Known for its venom, a black widow's bite is believed to be 15 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. Although very few people bitten by black widows actually succumb to the venom. Never the a lot of y'all sitting there saying, thank God. I always bring the, the grapes and stuff home and I wash them first and put them in a container. They're good. Now think about the people that pick them up in the store, put them in the cart, and they be walking around the store eating them. Hadn't washed them off yet. I don't know, maybe they had a frog in it or maybe a spider in it. You, you never know, man. Plus, the bite is excruciatingly painful. Upon its discovery, the family promptly secured the spider in a bag, knotted it three times over, and relocated it to the garage. The family holds no grudge against the grocery store, but is relieved they noticed the spider before it could venture further into their home. I mean, i definitely take the frog from earlier than a Black Widow spider. Number 7. From $200 to $30 million. The journey from a $200 sofa to a $30 million investment began when a man named Tom purchased it from a local salvage store. Little did he know that the tattered old sofa he picked out would become the centerpiece of a remarkable story. He brought the item home, unaware of the hidden item inside the couch. As Tom began cleaning and inspecting the sofa, he stumbled upon an anomaly tucked away in one of the cushions, a miniature aged canvas that piqued his curiosity. A subsequent investigation revealed that Tom had stumbled upon an exceedingly rare painting by the renowned 17th-century Dutch artist Franz Hals. 
The estimated worth of this long-forgotten masterpiece was a staggering $30 million. Tom couldn't contain his excitement at the astonishing find. I mean, I wouldn't be able to either. Mm -hmm. The painting, a breathtaking landscape featuring a distant castle, is believed to be the work of Franz Halls, celebrated for his portraits and landscapes. Tom wasted no time having the painting appraised and authenticated by experts in the art world, who confirmed its authenticity and dated it to the mid-1600s. The masterpiece was then auctioned and fetched the price of about $30 million. Number 6. Signed Air Jordan 1 For sneaker and shoe collectors, as well as sports enthusiasts, Michael Jordan's iconic sneakers are worth their weight in gold. And among them, the black toe Jordans are a rare and coveted treasure. It's no wonder that most people would fight to possess one of these coveted items. If you've ever slipped your feet into a pair of sneakers and laced them up, you know the value of Jordans. If they're vintage, yeah, they be- I know the value. And people don't just fight. They shoot and do other things for them Jordans as well. I've never seen that like it before. Come even more valuable. And if they happen to be signed by MJ himself, they're worth skyrockets into the stratosphere. But yep. these aren't just any Jordans. They are the very first ones. The ones Michael Jordan wore during the Jumpman ad campaign that catapulted him into sports and brand stardom. This means their value increased tenfold. Larry Aw, a maintenance worker, found a pair of these shoes in an abandoned mall. Larry's daughter is engaged to an enormous Jordan enthusiast named Donald. In a generous gesture, Larry gave these vintage sneakers to Donald as an early birthday present. Of course, he did it, not knowing the actual value of the shoes. However, upon learning about the shoes, the original owner of the abandoned mall claimed that they had the rights over the shoes. Fortunately, Michael won the rightful ownership of the shoes. Number 5. The Venus de Milo If there's a piece of art that's recognized by many, it's none other than the Venus de Milo, also known as the Aphrodite of Milos. Standing at a majestic 6.5 feet tall and weighing a substantial 1,984 pounds, the Venus de Milo is a unique creation from the late Hellenistic period, a breathtaking representation of Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love. At first, the sculptor behind this masterpiece was shrouded in mystery, with some attributing it to Praxiteles or Scopus. However, today, it's widely accepted that the statue is the creation of the skilled sculptor Alexander of Antioch. As popular as this sculpture is today, did you know its discovery was a complete accident? In April 1820, on the enchanting island of Milos in the village of Klima, a farmer bearing the surname Controtus unearthed this timeless treasure while tending to his fields. It was during this moment that fate intertwined with history. A French warship anchored near Milos was on a quest for Greek sculptures. The ship's leader, Officer Olivier Boutier, entered negotiations with the perplexed Turks, who were unaware of the statue's immense value. Through Boutier's shrewd diplomacy, he succeeded in getting the Venus de Milo and promptly shipped this wondrous artwork to France. It was during this journey that two of the statue's arms broke from the rest of the statue. Today, it's in the Louvre, where millions visit to appreciate the artwork annually. Number 4. From a dupe to a real ring Let's face it, we all own fake jewelry. Sometimes a good knockoff does the job. You can wear something nice that complements your outfit without fearing losing something that costs an arm and a leg. What's more, sometimes these knockoffs are so well made that they look authentic. Nearly three hey, decades. The way the crime is picked up, especially around Atlanta, I don't advise you wear no real stuff out, no valuable stuff, expensive jewelry or nothing like that, bro. They're taking that stuff off you. It's just being honest. So I wouldn't wear it. Decades ago, a London-based woman ventured into a car boot sale, the British equivalent of an American flea market. There, she stumbled upon a dazzling, oversized diamond ring that immediately caught her eye. Negotiating a mere $15, she walked away with what she believed to be a magnificent costume piece. The woman kept the jewelry with her, thinking that it was nothing but an ordinary piece of imitation jewelry. That is, until a jewelry inspector advised her to get it appraised. And when she did get the jewelry looked at by an expert, she was pleasantly surprised. You see, it turned out that the costume gem was no imitation. It was a stunning 26.27 carat diamond. Who would have thought that something she thought was a dupe was actually a valuable treasure? Talk about a lucky find, huh? Number 3. $40,000 Thrift Store Find 
This is the rare story of Nancy Cavalier, who got incredibly lucky on one of her trips to the thrift store. In 2017, on a scorching summer day in New York City, Nancy made her routine pit stop at a thrift store on her way home from work. Little did she know, her life was about to change. What Nancy saw were simple ceramic plates priced at $1.99 each. And when she took a look at the back of the plate, she saw the engraved names of none other than Pablo Picasso, one of the most influential artists of the 20th century, was not limited to just painting and sculpture. He was also a prolific ceramicist, creating 633 different ceramic editions between 1947 and 1971, including plates, bowls, and vases. With her newfound knowledge, Nancy decided to auction off three of the four Picasso plates. The outcome? An astonishing $40,000. This shows that sometimes the most valuable gems are hidden in plain sight, waiting to be discovered by those with a keen eye. So if you think you have an eye for distinguishing which items are valuable in a pile of trash, then you just might want to try your luck at thrifting. Number 2. The Hand of Faith the Hand of Faith is the largest known gold nugget still in existence today. It was accidentally discovered in 1980 by Australian prospector Kevin Hillier while using a metal detector near Kingower, Victoria. Initially mistaking it for a discarded horseshoe, Kevin unearthed an extraordinary find. A massive, hand-shaped gold nugget weighing an astonishing 60 pounds after cleaning. Kevin Hillier named it Hand of Faith in honor of his wife, Faith. This remarkable discovery became a record-breaker as the largest gold nugget at the time and remains one of the largest to this day. Kevin eventually sold it to the Golden Nugget Casino in Las Vegas, where it's been publicly displayed. And now it's time for today's topic. Scientists discover a 3-million-year-old door and find something incredible inside. A researcher claimed their team stumbled upon a massive metal door while exploring the barren desert. What they thought was a region filled with nothingness turned out to be the location of a mysterious door that remained sealed for over three million years. What they found inside was incredible. Inscriptions on the walls written in an indecipherable language and artifacts that were never seen before. As the researchers went further into the cave, they also found a chamber filled with scrolls. With such a significant find, you would think this discovery would be all over the news. But this wasn't the case. The researchers claimed that when they went back to the location the very next day, this time with proper equipment, the massive door disappeared. Number 1. A Rare Celtic Coin Hoard Reg Mead, 79, and Richard Miles, 58, had long heard tales of lost Celtic coins on Jersey's eastern side. And so, together, the two amateur metal detectorists set out to find a treasure. It just so happened that luck was on their side. In early 2012, they secured permission to search a new field and quickly stumbled upon 61 copper and silver coins adorned with exotic designs. An excavation later unearthed around 70,000 coins, believed to be 2,000 years old, buried by a Celtic tribe fleeing Julius Caesar's legions. However, due to legal considerations in Jersey, the coin's ownership was automatically transferred to the British Crown. After years of negotiations and headaches, the 4.25 million pound agreement finally concluded. The organization Jersey Heritage and the landowner will finally receive their respective shares, bringing an end to the decade-long saga and a decade-long headache for the two amateur metal detectorists.